Hey guys, welcome to KDD Planning Solutions and this is Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Every week Sunday we are discussing some challenging problems that appears little tedious in our competitive exams but it is not actually tedious. We are feeling it difficult because we are lacking knowledge in concept base. So today I came in with that kind of question so which is recurring algebraic expressions. So here you could see the question so it is square root of m power square root of m power square root of m up to infinity equal to 1 by 8 and find the value of m. Just imagine you are getting this kind of question in your competitive exam, how you will react. Now you have five options, cannot be determined, infinity, square root of m, option d and option e. So if you want to work past this video for some time, take a pen and paper, solve this and type the answer in comment session. So I will show you how to solve this problem. So we can call this question as a recurring algebraic expression. So the same numbers will repeat again and again up to infinite number of times. So here have the variable square root of m that is repeating n number of times, right? Now, what is value of square root of m power square root of m up to infinity, which is 1 by 8, right? Now, I keep only one variable. So, only one square root of m at bottom. Now, I choose this. So, it is square root of m power square root of m power square root of m up to infinity. Now, what is value of this? So, this is also 1 by 8, right? So, at bottom, if you have square root of m and uh, to the power you have up to infinity, that is equivalent to 1 by 8. So here also you have the same, right? So can we take it as 1 by 8? So by keeping 1 square root of m at bottom, you can write the remaining part as 1 by 8 is equivalent to what? 1 by 8. Because that is given in your question. Right? Now it is very simple to solve. Now what is value of square root? So value of square root is 1 by 2. Now we can rewrite it as m power 1 by 2 to the whole power 1 by 8 equivalent to 1 by 8. Now, it is nothing but a power m to the whole power n format, which is search and indices. a power m to the whole power n is nothing but a power m into n. So, it is m power 1 by 2 into 1 by 8. How much we get? It is m power 1 by 2 into 1 by 8. You get 1 by 16, equivalent to 1 by 8. Now, we want to find the value of m, right? It is very simple. So, if you have a power m equivalent to b, how you can write it as? So, you can take this m to right hand side and you can write it as? a equal to b power 1 by m. And how you will write uh, b? So if you take this 1 by m to left hand side, you get a power m. Similarly, if you take this 1 by 16 to right hand side, you get what? m equivalent to 1 by 8 to the whole power 16. Now this is format of a by b to the whole power m. How we can write a by b to the whole power m? a power m divided by b power m. Now it is very simple, right? Now you can write it as m equivalent to 1 power 16, 1. 8 can be written as 2 power 3, right? So it is 2 power 3 to the whole power 16. Now we can write it as 1 by 2 power 3 to the whole power 16. That is 2 power 3 into 16, 2 power 48. And this is the expected answer. See, it's very simple, right? Now, this algebraic expression is residing in the concept of certs and indices, which we discussed in our classes earlier. So I believe this is a helpful session for you. If you get the same answer, like this video and share it to your friends. So stay connected to get more updates related to your competitive exams and all the very best.